This is a picture of my cube when I was a software developer. And this is a video that someone just watched that learned more about AWS from my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you seven different ways that you can make money coding. So make sure you watch this entire video because I've got a few tips that no one else is sharing. For the best tips and tricks to learn affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also click the first link in the description or go to austingodbolt.com forward slash start for my free unemployee handbook. That handbook will teach you how to make money online step by step be sure to go ahead and get your copy today. Hello, my name is Austin Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I'm an affiliate marketer and internet entrepreneur who has helped thousands of people across multiple platforms make passive income, and today I want to help you. All right, so as I mentioned, there are a ton of different ways to make money as a coder. I'm going to reveal some of the best ways that I've made money and others around me have made money simply coding. So let's go ahead and get right into it. As I mentioned to you just a few moments ago, I actually started my YouTube channel all about coding. It was in AWS. As I learned different things about Amazon Web Services, I would turn around and apply them. As you know, Amazon Web Services or AWS is a large component of what Amazon does and what the entire world uses to get online. And so if you take a look at some of these videos here, these videos from three years ago are getting hundreds if not thousands of views. If we take a look at this one, creating a Docker image on AWS EC2, if you're technical like I am, you kind of know what that means, but you can see this has 7,000 views. And I was able to create this video after getting my certification and creating a course, and I actually used part of this, uh, part of my course to, to actually create a video. And as you can see, 7,000 views, 66 likes from showing someone how to create a Docker image back in 2018. And as I mentioned to you, I actually used it to create, I actually pulled this video from a course that I created. As you can see over here, and this is the second way that you can make money, is simply creating courses over on Udemy or any online education platform. Now I had three courses on Amazon Web Services. Each of the courses sold for $9.99, and I actually got paid probably between two and five dollars for each one of these courses, which you can see here. Mastering AWS featuring SQS. Mastering AWS featuring S3. Now these are different subsections of Amazon Web Services, and I created individual courses and made money. Now I actually, before I got certified in Amazon Web Services, I followed a group called A Cloud Guru, A Cloud Guru, and they have tons of courses. Now what I wanna show you is they actually had sample questions for the AWS certifications. I took those I took those questions to get certified and they made money from it. So look at this, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Practice Exam. They have 390 questions that they came up with and they charge $29.99. If I just click on this, this is really eye-opening to me. There's over 125,000 students that have taken this course. 380 questions. Some of these questions are repeated through each one of these tests for $29.99. Now, most likely people purchased these questions for $9.99. So if we took $9.99 and whoops, if we took $9.99 and multiply that by 125 times 125 like this, you're going to see that it comes out to over $1.2 million. Now, most likely AWS or, or ACOG Guru probably received about 50% of that. So they probably made about six hundred dollars to $700,000 just from 380 questions. And they got the questions based on Amazon's questions and white paper. So really they didn't have to reinvent the wheel. They didn't even have to record any videos. That's what's so powerful about this method is you can either create a course, you know, a one hour course teaching something technical, or you can actually create practice exams for different technical certifications. Now, as we know, AWS and Google and Microsoft, they actually come up with these different certifications and they actually update the, the certifications every couple of years. And so you could create this and potentially make money. Now, the interesting thing is, is a cloud guru is actually piggybacking off of, let's pause that, they're using YouTube as their vehicle to get people over to their Udemy course. They're selling the Udemy courses on their own and they're, they're making money with the YouTube Partner Program. They're making money with selling merchandise. There's a lot of opportunity simply with YouTube and selling courses or selling practice exams. There's other websites out there like Wiz Labs that does the exact same thing, but if you want to use the power of Udemy, you can just create courses as you can see, 
create uh, practice exams and make money. But number three is actually with Fiverr. Now, believe it or not, people reach out to me all the time on Fiverr to do different tasks. As you can see, there's only 1,900 services available for AWS. Now, when you compare that to something like WordPress, WordPress like this, you're gonna see that there are hundreds of thousands of people that have created different services for WordPress. For whatever reason, WordPress is not being spelled correctly. But if we look at this, 102,000 services available for WordPress, but only 1,900 services available for AWS. So if you go out and you learn AWS, you can learn it for free on YouTube, or you can pay um, you can pay to learn a course over on Udemy. You create different services on Fiverr, you are going to get a ton of opportunities. If you look at this, $200 this person is charging. I will be your AWS guy for any AWS service. Let's assume that he charged $200 and 145 star reviews. So if we just did the math on that, 200 times uh, 140, you're looking at $28,000. Now we know, we know a couple things. One, he probably charged less than that in the beginning, but we know that not everybody that purchases a service leaves a review. So he could have made substantial money. Look at this. He probably made $50,000 off of Fiverr being in AWS, being technical. And this is a specialization that can help you make a lot of money. Getting away from AWS or Amazon Web Services, you can make money in a few different ways. You can create WordPress themes. You can create WordPress plugins. Now, WordPress themes are the way that a website looks and feels. The plugins add additional features and functionality. We can take a look here at these different plugins, and you can make a plugin about anything. You can take a look at the plugins that are already here for inspiration and create something that's similar but has a little bit of uniqueness. But if we look at this, they there are hundreds, if not thousands of different plugins that do everything. For example, when I was building WordPress websites for small and medium sized businesses, I was thinking about building a plugin for different bars and restaurants that had volleyball tournaments or had seasons so that they could go to the website, the different teams could go to the website and they could take a look at their schedule. They could look at their rankings. They could look at, you know, who they're coming up next and, and all of the, the different metrics. And, you know, that's a plugin that you could create and sell on a website like ThemeForest or even CodeCanyon.net. But this is another cool way to make money. After be it building WordPress themes and plugins, you can actually create eBooks over on Amazon, Gumroad, uh, Etsy even, different places like that. Now, I actually purchased this book. When I first got started with Python, or trying to learn Python, I actually purchased these books, and these, these books are incredibly helpful when it comes to learning different programming languages. These books have been around for a long time, but there's no reason why you can't create a similar book for a new, uh, a new framework. For example, I looked at different books that uh, talked about how, how to do Mongo and JavaScript and, and all of the different databases and, and connecting all that stuff up. And so <clears throat> you can create books on any of the, the newest features and frame frameworks. For example, as I mentioned, React was relatively new when I got started or, or new to me. And so I was looking for tons of information so that I could do my job better. Another way that you could make money, and this is a really powerful way, is piggybacking off of Stack Overflow. Now, if you are an average or below average coder like I am, you go to Stack Overflow for everything. You type in how to do a for loop and you know people are gonna help you with Stack Overflow. Now, what I've done is I've actually jumped over to Ahrefs. It's a keyword research tool that I use to help me find keywords. I've looked up the domain name for Stack Overflow, and this is giving me a list of the web pages that rank first in Google. Now, you want to rank first in Google because that's where most of the eyeballs go. And what you can do is come through and answer questions based on the rankings. Now, you won't get paid directly from Stack Overflow. You can get paid uh, by sending people to your blog, your website, your YouTube channel, and even people will reach out to you if you've demonstrated enough skill and knowledge in an area, they'll actually reach out to you and you can speak at conferences or you can do different presentations. They may even contract you to do a course and you can actually do the same thing with GitHub as well. Now, as you know, GitHub is a, is a repository where people are putting up code that is free to use and, and free to modify. If you jump on Git or GitHub and you make um, substantial changes and improvements to other people's codes like Stack Overflow. You can have people that will reach out to you to do different conferences, different speaking engagements. They'll come over to your YouTube channel. There's just a ton of opportunity. For example, 
there is a software on GitHub right now that teaches people how to create 10,000 NFTs in less than three hours. And what people are doing is they're first, they're going over to the YouTube channel and watching that video. And then they're pulling the, the code that they need right from GitHub. And so GitHub sees that there are tons of people coming to this uh, website and it can actually boost the rankings there and you can kind of create this snowball effect. But just to recap here, of course, you can get started with YouTube. There's a bunch of different ways. If we take a look at my screen here, um, you can get paid with the YouTube Partner Program. You can get paid by having merch at the bottom here like you see at the at, on mine. Uh, you can get paid. You can make money with Udemy. You can get paid, and this is really interesting, by simply creating practice exams. You don't even have to create actual courses. You create practice exams, sell them for $9.99 and make money. You can make money with Amazon Web Services and freelancing sites. You can create different plugins and WordPress themes. You can sell, make and sell different eBooks on different frameworks. You can come over to Stack Overflow and answer questions and you can make improvements over on GitHub. Now that you know seven different ways that you can make money with code, click the first link in the description for my free unemployee handbook. That handbook will teach you how to make money online step by step. Click the first link in the description or go to alstingodbolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website alstingodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.